Having taken a close look at the DJI Phantom 2, we continue our quadcopter journey and unlock the full potential of this great little machine. Welcome to IFTIS Tech Corner where today we'll be looking at enabling the advanced controls on the DJI Phantom 2. The Phantom 2 is a great machine, but the documentation can be lacking in places. Consequently, there's a feature of the machine which you may have never heard about, but gives so many more flying options. Or you may have heard about it, but can either not find out how to enable it, or are keeping away because DJI tells you it's for advanced flyers only, which I believe is nonsense. It's called the NASA mode, and your flights will be more pleasurable and safer if you have it enabled. By default, your Phantom is set in a standard mode whereby the two switches on the top of the transmitter serve no purpose, apart from the right hand one which you toggle in order to initiate the compass calibration mode. So when you fly, it doesn't matter what position the switches are in. In NASA mode, these three position switches offer a number of functions, with normal flight being achieved with both switched in the up position. And this is why DJI says this mode is not for beginners, just in case beginners accidentally flick switches, altering the flying experience. Assuming you have the intellect to ensure that the switches are in the upright position before flying, then NASA mode may be for you. So, switches up and start to fly and the Phantom will fly exactly the same in NASA mode as it did in standard Phantom mode. Looking at the right hand switch first, in the default top position you are flying in GPS mode, meaning that the Phantom will attempt to maintain the same position in space when you take your hands off the sticks. Move the switch to the middle position and you are now flying in attitude mode, or ATI for short. In this mode your Phantom will attempt to maintain height and direction by means of the barometer and compass, but GPS is switched off so your craft will drift with the wind. Attitude mode can be useful for smooth video since the craft doesn't need to make small adjustments to keep itself in one spot. The bottom position, although also labelled ATI, can be customised to one of two modes. The first is to initiate return to home, whereby the Phantom climbs to around 20 metres if it's lower than that, flies back to the starting point and then gently lands itself at its home point. In the standard Phantom mode users need to switch the controller off completely to initiate the return to home mode. Under the NASA mode users simply flick a switch, but the added advantage is it's easy to regain control at any time by flicking the switch back up. The second option for this switch is to enable full manual mode. Not recommended for most basic flyers, this is the one mode where I would agree with DJI saying it's for the more advanced flyers only. Either of the two modes can be set in the DJI Assistant, which we'll look at shortly. The left switch is the home of the intelligent orientation control functions. In the up position the setting is completely off. If your Phantom is many meters high and many meters away and you want to bring it home, you need to know where the front of the craft is pointing so you can bring it back towards you. Unfortunately given the shape of the thing, it can be impossible to know which is the front just by looking at it, especially from a long distance away. Flick the switch to the bottom position and you are now in home lock mode. Pull back on the right hand stick and the Phantom will return to its starting point, irrespective of the direction in which it's pointing. Think of this mode like spokes on a wheel. Pull the right stick back and the craft comes towards the home point, either side and the craft arcs around the home point. The middle position is similar but doesn't rely on your home point. It's called course lock and when it's enabled the Phantom will respond to the sticks as if it's aligned in the direction it was facing at the time of takeoff. Think of this mode as flying on a grid relative to the orientation the craft was in at the time of takeoff. Irrespective of mode, access to attitude, return to home and home lock modes are worth having. So how do you switch to NASA mode? Let's take a look. The first step involves downloading the DJI Assistant from the DJI website. Completely free to use and available on both the Mac and PC platforms, the only difference between installations involves a driver install on Windows before the actual DJI Assistant install, whereas the Mac users have the DJI Assistant only with no worry of driver installs. Start by connecting your Phantom's USB cable to the craft and the other end to your computer before turning the radio controller on, followed by the Phantom itself. Start up the Assistant software and you should find your Phantom connected to the DJI Assistant. Simply move your control sticks and you should see the sliders move as you do so. 
Enabling advanced controls from this point is simply a matter of locating the phantom button on the top bar, click on it to change it to NASA mode. Under the basic tab you can now select what you would like the third position on the right switch to do. Choose either ATI, failsafe or manual. I personally recommend failsafe. Moving the switch will replicate the settings on screen. Finally, under the advanced tab, we have a tick box to enable the intelligent orientation controls. It's as simple as enabling this box. Again, move the switch to test. And that's all there really is to it. Now that your advanced modes are enabled, go out and experiment. The key is to really familiarise yourself with the function of each in order to use it at the right time and under the right conditions.